gerçekten sevgi fast fashion. So I'm realizing that all the fast fashion, see all the all the fast fashion. So children, if the bisector of vertical triangle, children, this is A, this is B, this is C. If the bisector of vertical angle, vertical angle means this is the vertical angle. Bisector of the vertical angle. If the bisector of vertical angle of triangle bisects the base also. If bisector bisects the base also. If bisector bisects the base also. Try to understand, children. Bisector of vertical angle of triangle. If the bisector of vertical angle of triangle bisects the base, prove that it is isosceles. Children, given means given what means? Please see here. Angle one is equal to angle two, and B is equal to CD. We have to prove. What is equal to prove? We have to prove that AB is equal to AC. AB is equal to AC means it is an isosceles triangle. We should prove. Okay. So proof, children. What are the two triangles we have here, children? What are the two triangles we have here? ADB and ADC. In ADB and ADC. In ADB and ADC. What is there? Angle one is equal to angle two. Uh, children, this angle is equal to this angle. This is common angle. This side is equal to this side. Any congruency condition will come, children? No, no. Yes, children. Yes, yes, sir. No, yes, sir. Yes, means sir. Angle should be in the middle. It is not yes, yes. What congruency condition will come, children? The bisector of vertical angle of triangle bisects the base. Sir, SSA. SSA is not there, right? One second. Bisects the base. Bisects the base is same. Bisects the base means, sir, this is equal to... 90. No. They 90 degrees. They didn't say 90 degrees. This is equal to this, they said. This is common side, they said. And this angle equal to this angle, they said. That's all. So, which congruency condition will come, children? Yeah, yeah, yes, also won't come. Sir, I think we should extend B sir, down. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so we should extend the B down like this, sir? Yes, sir. And we should join C with that. Oh, super, super. A, B, C. This is D. We should extend like this. And we should join. We should extend in such a way that this and this are equal. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Ah, yes, sir. Correct. Super. Who told? Shemoka. Yes, sir. Very good, Shango. Children, construction will be there, children, here. Construction. What is the construction? Then, sir, we should extend AD to E such that AD is equal to DE. We should extend AD to E such that AD is equal to DE. Such that AD is equal to DE. Now, what happens? Sir? First, let us take this both triangles. This both triangles. Children, this is equal to this. Why? He already gave. This is equal to this. Why? By construction. We go. This is equal to this, why? What? what oh, okay. This both triangles are congruent. If this both triangles are congruent, what we can say, children, if this both triangles are congruent, by CPC, this side is equal to this side. Okay? So, see, children, those who did not understand, just see here, children. What is the name of this triangle? In ADB and in ADB and in CDE. Okay? What we can say, AD is equal to DE. Why, children? By construction. Angle D is equal to angle D. Why, children? Vertically opposite. Vertically opposite. BD is equal to CD. Why, children? Given. 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 By SAS. ADB is congruent to CDE. By CPCT. What we can write, children? By CPCT? AB is equal to CD. C. E. AB is equal to CE. AB is equal to CE. If we got. Okay. If we got AB is equal to CE. Okay, children. If we got AB is equal to CE, now what we will do, children? And this and this are equal common set. AB is equal to CE. Angle 1 was equal to angle 2, no, children? Angle 1 was equal to angle 2. So children, 
angle one. Uh, this is equal to this. So this angle will be equal to this angle. Angle one will be here equal to angle one. Angle one. Am I correct? Yes. This is angle. This is x here, yeah, no talking. This is also x. Shall we correct only? A is equal to C weighted, no? Sir, we can take the down, uh, the other side angles as the other side angles as z and uh, y, and again we can take it like. No, no. These both are congruent, no? So this angle equal to this angle, this angle equal to this angle, and this angle equal to this angle. Okay? You are able to understand? No, no. What I am saying? Yes, sir. So, see here, slowly I will say, try to understand. Slowly I will say, try to understand, children, everyone. Please see here. See, children, this angle equal to this angle, we know. Uh, and uh, in this triangle, in this triangle, and in this triangle, see, this angle will be equal to this angle. This angle will be equal to this angle. If I say this is one, this is also angle one. By see, see, you are able to understand, children, everyone. Sir, again, we can prove that both triangles are congruent, also, right, sir? No, no, no. Let me say, let me say. So, children, all of you see here, children. Children, if this is, uh, if. Uh, Please see here, children. If BAD is angle 1, if BAD is angle 1, then CEA, then CEA also angle 1. Why? By CBC. Try to understand, children. But uh, already he said angle 1 is equal to angle 2. Am I correct, children? He already said, first story he said 1 is equal to 2. Now 1 is equal to 2. Now also 1 is equal to 2. Now also 1 is equal to 2 means, can I say CE is equal to CA? Yes, sir. How? By base angles. By base angles. C, angle 1 is equal to angle 2 means CE is equal to CA. But uh, what do we know children? CE is equal to? AB. CE is equal to AB. We know. Just now we prove CE is equal to AB. CE is equal to CA. CE is equal to AB. From oh, this board, AB is equal to AC. If AB is equal to AC, it is isosceles triangle. That's it. Understood, children? Yes, sir. Children, those who did not understand, slowly I will say, these both are congruent, that is by default we understood very easy. Because they both are congruent, angle 1 is equal to angle 1. These both angles are same. These both are equal, means these both also equal. If these both equal, this side and this side are equal. And already by CPC, this side and this side are equal. So this and this are equal. If this and this are equal, it is an isosceles triangle. Please copy down, children. I hope you are getting confusion. I'm feeling like that. Anyone have any confusion still? You can ask me. No, sir. Okay, children. No. This angle equal to this angle. Then this angle equal to this angle. But this is of no use, children. This is of no use for us in solving the sum. This is of no use. That's why I did not. Very nice, some children. Thank you, Shamuk, for giving hint. I am erasing it, children. Next time we will go. Shall I erase it, children? Yes, sir. That second part you lose, sir. This huh? part. Yeah. Okay. Now you can erase. Oh, children. Same like this only, children. One more question. Same thing. One more question. What is the question? Means if the altitude from vertex of triangle, if altitude A, B, C, altitude means what, children? 90 degrees. Altitude means directly 90 degrees. Altitude means directly 90 degrees. He is saying if altitude from vertex of, if altitude from one vertex of triangle bisects the opposite side, he is saying this is bisecting the opposite side. By six is the opposite, then prove that it is wrong. Uh, I just, this is very easy subject. Yes, yes. 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 Tell me, proof, children, anyone? AD is equal to? AD is equal to AD. Why? Common side. Common side. Common side. Common side. Angle D is equal to angle D. 
90 degrees bd is equals to dc given by by ss adb is common to ad by cpct what we can say ab is equal to ad ac ab is equal to ac so it is hydrogen isosceles this was the bonds actually but this is very easy okay one more question actually okay uh, yeah calculate the varsha butyl varsha value of sphere is 4851 cc value of sphere is 4851 cc what is its surface area yeah varsha what is volume of sphere formula 4 by 3 pi r cube hansika you tell 4 by 3 pi r cube yeah sri vidyu tell ओके so mm, 441 will go in which table na this 24 the 8 let it be like that only uh, this is 7 this is 21 no 21 21 the 441 am i right yes sir this is 21 21 this is also 21 21 cube is there 8 we can write as 2 cube 2 cube cube cube, cube, cube. cancel r is equal to 21 by 2 no surface area we should find out surface area sphere formula Yeah, four uh, four pi r square. You should remember formulas. Okay, four into twenty-two by seven into twenty-one by two into twenty-one by two. Four four cancel seven three the so sixty-six into twenty-one. Okay, six one zero six six two zero twelve one twenty-six one three eight six centimeter square one three eight six centimeter square. Okay. Next question. A juice seller has cylindrical vessel having radius 25 cm. A juice seller has cylindrical vessel having radius 25 cm and a height of 40 cm and a height of 40 cm and height of, which is full of juice. Okay, this is full of juice, children. This is full of juice. Okay, he he sells that he put in that he put this all juice in small small cylinders, children. Small small n number of small cylinders. He put the juice in n number of small cylinders. Glasses of diameter ten centimeters. Glasses of diameter ten centimeters. Okay, and height ten centimeters. Height ten centimeters. Question is, how many oranges are required for the bigger vessel to fill completely? It to fill one small glass juice of two oranges is required. Uh, how many oranges are required for bigger vessel to fill completely? If to fill one small glass juice of two oranges is required, okay, one small glass requires two oranges. It seems so. Two oranges. This require how many oranges? First, let us see how many glasses are there, children. How many glasses are there? Let us see. Then we can do. Okay, who will tell this sum, children? How many glasses are there? Who will tell? Sir, can I say? Not tell that. Volume of big cylinder is is equal to. N into volume of glass, small cylinder. Oh, okay. Pi R square, pi big R square H. Pi R square H is equal to N into pi R square H. Okay. Pi by ten. Okay. Or twenty five into twenty five into forty is equal to N into five into five into ten. So five five cancel. Ten four the forty. Two ten. Five five twenty five ten five cancel. Cancel. Hundred. Hundred bottles yeah. get different. Okay. Now, one small bottle requires two oranges. Hundred bottles require two hundred oranges. Two hundred oranges. If two hundred oranges are needed for this, big one also need two hundred oranges. Okay. So two hundred oranges. Children, if to fill all the glasses, two hundred oranges are needed. All the glasses are filled from this only, no? So he requires two hundred oranges to fill this also. Okay, children. Those who did not understand, see, children, hundred bottles we got. Each bottle required two hundred or two oranges. So two hundred oranges are needed. 
this 200 oranges for all these bottles with the juice is coming from this one you know so this also required 200 oranges that's all okay children next question yeah children this sum we did so many times once again i'm telling children very very important sum this is we did so many times children this is a b c and these both are angle bisectors children these both are angle bisectors we have to prove that angle o is angle o is 90 minus half of angle a 90 minus half of angle a okay tamay can you tell this how to do yes tamay. sir uh, tamay if this is x this is x this will be how much 180 minus 2x and if this is y this is uh, sorry, sorry this is y this is y this will be how much 180 minus 2y 180 minus 2y. For ABC, what is angle sum property? 180 minus 2x plus 1. 180 plus 180 minus 2x plus 180 minus 2y equals to 180. 180. 180, 180, 180 cancel. A plus 180 is equals to 2x plus 2, 2y. Can you apply VOC angle sum property VOC? X plus X plus Y plus angle o plus and y equals to 180 x plus y is equals to 180 minus angle o okay can you substitute this here a plus 180 equals to 2 into x plus y x, instead of x plus y i get this okay uh, tell a plus a 180 equals to 360 minus 2 okay this comes here this whole thing goes here 2 times of angle O is equal to? 360 minus 180 minus angle A. Okay. 2 times of angle O equals to 180 minus angle A. Okay. Angle O equals to 90. Okay. Angle, angle O is equal to? 90 by 2 is 90 minus A by 2. Still Very good. Next question. Lahari, how is that? The cost of painting the uh, TSA, Vivek, you did. The cost of painting the TSA is the cost of painting TSA. The cost of painting TSA is um, 237600 0, 0 rupees. Shall we At the rate of 6 rupees per meter square. Okay. The height of the tank is 6 times the radius. The height of the tank. The height of the tank is six times the radius. The height of the tank is six times the radius of the base of the tank. Question is find the radius and height of the tank. See the cost of polishing, the cost of painting TSA of cylinder. The cost of painting TSA of the cylinder. First, yes. you, you tell me what is the formula for TSA of cylinder? 2, two pi r into r uh, h plus r. Uh, 2 pi r into h plus r. See, 1 meter square is 6 rupees. So, for how many meter square it would have become 23,237600 uh, rupees. 1 meter square 6 rupees. For how many meter square this cost will come? Cross multiple. X is equal to 237600 by 6. This is what TSA? This is what? TSA. This is equal to 2 into 22 by 7 into r into r plus 6 r. Okay, so 237600 by 6 is equal to 2 into 22 by 7 into r into 7. 7. 7. 7. 7. 7. 2 into 22 into 6. 2 into 22 into 6. six. R square is equal to 11 2. 11 2 is 11 1 11 6 is 0 0. Okay. 2 10 is 22 8 is 0 0. 2 5 is 2 4 is 0 0. 6 9 0 0. Nana, 900 is what? Nana? 
R R is equal to three. That is good. So thirty centimeters is the radius. What will be the height, Amma? Height. Height is equal to six. Height is equal to six. Six into thirty. How much? Height is equal to one eighty centimeters. One eighty centimeters. Sure, like this, you have to do. So from the total cost, first you have to find out TSA. From the total cost, first you have to find out TSA. One meter square is six rupees means. Uh, how many meter square will be this much? One meter square is six rupees means. How many meter square is this much? Then how many meter square will give you TSA? From TSA I found out radius. From radius I got height. Very very important sums children. Very 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 important. Like this sums will be some children. Be careful. Next question. Next question, sir. Vivek, are you there? Yes, sir. See, a box with a lid is made of two centimeters thick wood. See, there is a box. There is a box with a lid. Everywhere it is two centimeters thick. Everywhere it is two centimeters thick. Understood? Everywhere it is two centimeters thick. Everywhere. This is a box. Okay, box with a lid is made up of two centimeters thick wood. External dimensions are external dimensions are twenty five into eighteen into fifteen. External dimensions are then uh, how many cc of rice can be placed in? Hey, find the volume of wood. See, find how much rice is kept means inner volume he is asking. And what is the volume of wood? Volume of wood means what you will do? Vivek, volume of wood. Sir, volume of outer wood minus volume of inner. Fantastic. Volume of outer box minus volume of inner box. Both you should do. First, inner dimension, uh, outer dimensions are twenty-five. So Sir. inner dimensions will be twenty-one. Very good. Because here two, here two, if you remove, it will become twenty-one. And fourteen. Here Sir. two, here two, if I remove fourteen. And front to two, back to eleven. Two, four, eleven. These are inner dimensions. Very good. Now volume of rice means volume of inner cube. Volume of inner cube. How much? L B L A L into B into H sir. Twenty one into fourteen into eleven. Twenty one into fourteen into eleven. Fourteen ones are fourteen. Fourteen two are twenty eight. Twenty nine into eleven. So eleven four are forty four. Ninety nine one not three. Eleven two are twenty two. Thirty two three two three four C C. Three two three four C C. Volume of inner box. Now volume of wood. wood volume of wood is volume of outer box minus volume of inner box. Volume of outer box minus volume, volume of, of inner box. box. Outer box is how much, children? Twenty-five into eighteen into fifteen minus twenty-five twenty-one into fourteen into eleven. So you got now. Let him do it. Yes. Okay, children. So how we will do, children? Eighteen five is a ninety. Eighteen two is a thirty-six. Thirty-six is forty-five into fifteen minus three two three four. Okay, children. Fifteen zeros are zero. Fifteen five seventy five. Fifteen four are sixty sixty seven. Minus three two three four. So children, ten minus four is six. Four minus three is one. Seven minus two is five. Six minus three right. five one six cc is volume, volume of, of food. food. Okay, children. Here you should know that we have to subtract four everywhere. Why four, children? If this is twenty five, internal one will be twenty one because here two thickness, here two thickness. We have to subtract. If this is eighteen, here two, here two. If you subtract fourteen, and front two, back two. If you sub subtract fifteen minus four is eleven. This you should know, children. How much we should subtract? You should know, children. If you know that only, you can do, children. Okay. So volume of rice means rice will put here, no? That's why inner box. Wood means this is wood, children. This is made of wood. Outer box minus inner box gives you wood. Outer box minus inner box gives you inside the wood which is present here. The wood which is present here. Okay, children. Next one. Vikram, are you there? Next. Saisha is there? Yes, sir. There are two parallel lines. This is there. This is fifty-five degrees, Amma, and this is thirty-eight degrees. Okay, I want this angle. What do you do, Amma? Uh, draw a line. Draw a line from the between. You have to say draw a line parallel to both the lines. Draw a line parallel, parallel to both the lines. So what happens? So the angle becomes x and x. Uh, it will become. I mean. If this is fifty-five. This is also fifty-five, right? Twenty. No. Alternate. 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 If this is thirty-eight, this is also thirty-eight, right? 
opposite and alternate and alternate, alternate. Uh, alternate this and this are always alternate if this is 38 this is also 38 why alternate if this is 55 this is also 55 why alternating now we can add them how much am i 55 plus 38 
number of triangles which can be drawn with an angles 45, 64 and 72 are first let us say 9 plus 1, 11, 8 plus 6, 14, 14 plus 4, 181 as first of all can we draw a triangle shape with this? No, no, sir. no, we can't draw any triangle, zero triangles, we can't draw because it should be 180, total should be 180 so we can't draw any triangles only first of all, forget about this. Two complementary angles are in the ratio of 13 is to 5. Children, what are complementary angles? Their sum should be 90. They are in the ratio of 13 is to 5. Two complementary angles are in the ratio of 13 is to 5 means what? 13 is equal to 9. 90 is equal to 90. 90 is equal to 90. X is equal to 90. X is equal to 5. So, 13 into 5 is how much? 65 degrees. 65. 5 into 5 is how much? 25. 90. So, 65 and 25 are complementary complement angles. Okay. Complementary angles are those angles which are in 90 degrees. Some of the angles will be 90 degrees. Complementary angles are those angles whose sum will be 90 degrees. Next one. Which of the following order five represents the solution to the linear equation y is equal to 5 minus x? Children, y is equal to 5 minus x. They have given children. And which of them is correct? Which order pair is correct? One is 1 comma 4, other is 2 comma 5. We'll see here, children. Other is 4 comma 4. Which of the solutions is correct? 3 comma 1. Okay, so children, put this here, put this here. 4 is equal to 5 minus 1. 4 is equal to 4. Yes, this is correct. Am I correct? This is correct. Next, put here 5 and this is 5 minus 2 to the 4. Are they correct? No. Okay, put here 4 is equal to 5 minus 4. 4 is equal to 1. Not correct. Put here 3. Uh, so, put here, uh, children, put here 1 children. 1 is equal to 5 minus 3. 1 is not equal to 2. So, first one only correct children. So, in always, whenever they give an order pair, this is x children, this is y always. Remember, this is x and y. Substitute in x and y, the given condition should satisfy. If the given condition is satisfied, then whatever they ask is correct children. Children, can anyone say this sum? Anyone? See here, this is the question like this. So, what they are asking is, see here once, question is A, B, C, D, and they are saying, this is 37 degrees and they are saying this is 70 degrees. Here they want X, here they want Y, given that the children. They are saying these both are equal. They are also saying that this and this are equal. We want X and Y. Okay, children, anyone? Anyone? Children? Ah, yeah, tell now, tell. If I remove this middle line, children, this side is equal to this side, this side is equal to this side, this is the common side. These both triangles both are congruent. congruent. Both triangles are congruent. But this is equal to this, he only give. This is equal to this, he only give. This is common side. Both triangles are congruent. By CPCT, X, if this is 37, yeah, yeah. this is also 37. <laughs> if this is 70, this is also 70. Over children, that's all. Why it means, uh, this both, uh, to confuse your people, they have given this line children. That line is of no use children. That line is of no use. If you remove that line, if you forget that line, these both triangles are congruent. Uh, and if these both triangles are congruent, if this is 37, this is 37. If this is 70, this is 70. Because by SSS, they both are triangles congruent children. The both triangles are congruent. Varsha is there, Varsha? Varsha is there? Sixth question. So, children, this is Vikram, are you there? 65. This is 60. This is minus 5x minus 20. This is 40. This is 5x minus 20. Individual angles we should find out. Tell them how to do. We should add everything in. Tell. 60 plus. 5x minus 20 is equal to 180. Why? Linear pair. You should write this. Then. 60 minus 20 is 40. 40 plus 40 is. 5x plus 80 is equal to 180. 5x is equal to 180 minus 80. 5x is equal to 100. 
is equal to 100 by 5, x is equal to 20. x is equal to 20. If the, uh, so this is 60. How much will be this? 5x minus 20 is how much? 5m by 80. How much? 100 minus 20, 80. 80. Okay. Why should I tell one more song? I'm calling you from, from that time, you're not answering. Yes, sir. Mic, some problem. Tell me this song. In the given figure, in the given figure, so this is A, this is B, this is C, and this is T. Okay, angle 1 and angle 2. Question is, what is the question? See, the given figure, AB is equal to AC, he said. AB is equal to AC. He only said that AB is equal to AC, and angle 1 is equal to angle 2, he said. Happy. Angle 1 is equal to angle 2. Question is, prove that PBC is equal to PCB. PBC. PBC. Oh, one second. PBC. Uh, this angle is equal to this angle we have to prove. Required to prove is we have to prove that angle X is equal to angle Y. Can you do now? Yes, ma'am. In these both triangles, you tell me congruence, you know, in these both triangles, in A, P, B, and A, P, C. A, B. In A, P, B, and A, P, C. You tell congruence the condition, you tell? A, B, A, B is equal to A, C given. First, A, B is equal to A, C given. Very good. Angle 1 is equal to angle 2 given. Very good. Ah. A, AP is equal to AP common side. Very good. Common side. So why? By SKS congruency, ah. APB is congruent to APC. APB is congruent to APC means can I say PB is equal to PC? Yes. CPCD. By CPCD, what I can say? By PB is equal to? BP is equal to PB is equal to C. If PB and PC are equal, X and Y are equal, why? It's an isosceles triangle. No, uh, yeah, base angles. If PB and PC are equal, if PB and PC are equal, and X is equal to angle Y, why, Nana? Base angles are equal. equal. Base. If PB and PC are equal, X and Y are automatically equal by base angles. Base angles are equal. Base angles are equal. Next question. So she will like this video also, sir. This is extended like this. This is given. This question is in the given figure A E by C A D. Children, this is A E by C C C A D. Means this angle equal to this angle. A E is by C C this full angle. Means this angle equal to this angle. Children, okay. So by C C A D and and B is called angle C. He said angle B is called angle C. Children, angle one is called angle two. Given. And B is equal to angle C given. Srini, tell me how to do this. We have to prove that A is parallel to BC. A is parallel to BC. A is parallel to BC. Can you tell? Sir. No, no, mute your audio. We should connect. Uh, yes. We should uh, join EC. No joining, no joining. See, angle exterior angle is angle X and F. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, exterior angle is equal to angle X. Exterior angle is angle D, A, C. Exterior angle D, A, C is equal to angle B plus angle C. Why not? Exterior angle is equal to? Exterior angle is the inner opposite. Sum of, of interior opposite. Sum of interior opposite. But D, A, C, we know it as what? 2X. Okay. Yes or no? X plus X is yes, 2X. And if you see yes, these both are Y. These both are Y plus Y is how much? Both are equal. They both are, they said that two y. both are equal. That's why I'm taking Y way. So 2Y. Two, 2 to cancel. X is equal to? Y. If X is equal to Y, if X is equal to Y, what you can say? If X is equal to Y, alternate angles are? Equal. equal. Whose alternate angles are equal? A parallel to B. Okay. Understood? Understood? Yes, this sir. These are alternate angles. No. As alternate angles are equal, A is parallel to B. C. As alternate angles are equal, A is if If it is parallel, we will say alternate angles. But as alternate angles are equal, A is parallel to B. C. Understood? How to do? Three minutes. Yes, sir. Outermost angle I took it as 2x. This both I took it as 2y. Two to cancel. Two to cancel. Yes. Why, why, why I took? Because they both are equal. First one is equal. equal. As alternate angles are equal, these both are? 
This both are parallel lines. Like this, they have given. See, this is 60 degrees. This is 120 degrees. See here. This is x minus 20 degrees. X minus 20 degrees. Question is uh, find x. Find x. Tell more. This is 120. This will be. Um, one, 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 so 60 plus 60, 120, 120, 100, 100 is equal to 60 plus 60 60 60 60 all of pipe is there, 5 centimeter long. See, all of pipe is there. This is 5 centimeter long. All of pipe is you should draw it. 5 centimeter long is open at both ends and its inner and outer radii are 2 and 3. Inner radii is 2, outer radii is 3. Inner and outer radii are 3. Find the TSA. My God. You know how to do it? CSA. Inner CSA plus Inner CSA plus outer, outer CSA. CSA plus upper ring to downer. Two rings are there. Two rings are there. Inner CSA, outer CSA, upper ring, downer ring. What is ring ring? Big that circle minus small circle. Ring minus your big circle minus small circle. Like that. How many are there? Two are. Two are. So inner CSA. Inner inner CSA is two what? Two small are. Small R. How to CSA? Two pi big R H plus two pi two pi two pi minus R square minus R square. In every one two pi is common. Let's take two pi common. Two two pi is equal two pi into R H. R H means small R is two pi is that ten plus big R is three pi is that fifteen fifteen plus big R is three square three square plus minus two square. Is it so two pi into ten plus ten plus three square. How much? Five, five, sir. Is only two pi of thirty. Thirty. That is how much? Sixty-five. Sixty. Sixty-five can you solve? Sixty into three point one four euro. Euro is three six four twenty four. Eighteen point eight four. Eighteen no, 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 188.4. 188.4 centimeter square is to say, children, TSA of hollow pipe, all of you remember, children, be careful. Out of TSA, TSA, upper ring, down ring. Okay, those who did not understand, I will show you the figure, children. See, I showed you so many times. See, if the book is there, like this, see, try to understand. The book is there, like this. Okay, see. Outer CSA and inner CSA and this one ring and this one ring. Two rings are there. Try to understand. Okay. Next question. Nandika, you Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, so many times I told this one. I think it's not easy to tell this one. Anyway, tell me. I asked you. So many times I told this. This is angle. This is also angle. That we have to prove that uh, uh, P is equal to half of P. Can you say? Yes, sir. If, uh, if this sir, is why this is why this will be? That is 180 minus 2 y. Angle minus some property. Angle so P plus 2x triangle, plus P, P plus. Angle P plus 2x plus 180 minus 2y is equal to 180. 180, 180, 180 cancel. P 
is equal to 2 times of y plus y minus x. So bring both of them here. P is equal to? 2 times of y minus x. P is equal to 2 times of y minus x. Now for this one. Yes. At angle T plus x plus 180 minus 2y plus y is equal to 180. T plus angle T plus? X plus 180 minus 2y plus y. This and this. So 180, 180 minus 2y plus y is equal to 180. 180, okay. 180 cancels. T plus x minus y is equal to 180. Zero. T is equal to y minus x. T is equal to y minus x. So that T put here, so you get T, T is equal to 2 times of T. T is equal to half of angle. T is equal to half of T. Tamayi, you know, Tamayi, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay, Tamayi, you know, the volume of code is 98. Volume of cone is 98560. Okay, so uh, if the diameter of the base is 28, if the diameter of the base is 28, then question is find the CSA. CSA. If you want CSA, you need L. If you want L, you need H. So first find H, then L, then P. Volume of cone formula? 1 by 3 power. Someone say? 9856 is equals to 1 by 3 into 22 by 7 into 14 into 14 into H. Okay, 7 into 14, so 3 will go up, so all will come down. So, 9856 into 3 by 3 by 22 into 14. 22 into 14. Okay, so 2 4 the 8 2 9 2 2 0 2 8 7. Okay, so 11 to the 11 4 the 44 uh, 44 11 4 the 44 11 is that so 2 2 2 4 so what you have is 224 into 3 by 14 you have still so how much you will do now 2 7 the 2 1 1 2 sir uh, 2 7 the 7 3 Seven one the seven three forty sixty three how much? Forty eight centimeters. Sixty three how much? Forty eight centimeters. So forty eight centimeters. If it is coming forty eight centimeters, height you got forty eight centimeters. Now what is the CSA? I don't know. For, uh, first you have to find slant eight. Slant eight till now. Which square is equal to? R square plus H square. Okay, till now. Square is uh, fourteen square plus forty eight square. Okay. L square equals to 196 plus. Anyone 48 square? How much in it? Anyone? Anyone 48 square? How much in it? 2,304. 2,304. 2,034 plus 190. How much in it? 2,500. 500. 500. No, so L square is 25 and 50 square. So L is equal to 50. L equals to 50. Now what is CSA? Pi R. So 22 by 7 into 14. 14 into slant is how much? 50. So 7 to the 2 220 centimeters. So how much is 92? Yeah, 22 the meter only. Next time. Next time. So, children, question is like this. Today. So, what shall you do? Sai, shall you do? Sai, shall you do? Yes, sir. This is 45. This is 100. Okay. What is the question? Is, what is CEO? CEO. CEO is how much? This angle is how much? This angle. These both are parallel lines. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, 
if this is 0.5, what will be this angle? Of for opposite and not opposite are the same. If this is 0.5, this is also 0.5. Apply angles of property. 100 plus 45 plus x is equals to 360, 180, uh, 180 degrees. So 145 plus x, 145 plus x is equals to 180 minus 145. X is equals to 35. Next. Yes. Next. Shall we Yes, sir. So it's like this. 90 degrees. Mm. This is 28 degrees. This is 65 degrees. Okay. What is the question, sir? Uh, AB is how much? We need this angle. Yeah, no. What angle? Yeah, no. And they given that these both are parallel. These both are parallel. Yes, ma'am. 28. Uh, is both are <coughs> Yeah. 28 can we take alternate angles? Sir? Uh, what are what are 28. Uh, alternate yeah. angles. Uh, who the alternate angles? No I want X, that's all. Yeah. Is 65 is equal to 28 plus 6. 65 is equal to 25 28 plus 6. plus 6. Very good. Because these both are parallel. These both are parallel. Yeah. So everything if you remove, everything this this really line suppose if you remove, I can say 65 is equal to 28 plus x. Just to confuse you, they have given. So 65 is equal to 28 plus x. 65 is equal to 28 plus x because they are alternate angles. 65 is equal to 28 plus x. So x is equal to 65 minus 28. x is equal to 15 minus 87. 5 minus 2 is 37. 37 degrees is the answer. 37 degrees is the answer. Children. Understood, children? Anyone have any doubt? So, children, this line is confusing for you. Okay, if you remove that line, children, okay, this angle and this angle are becoming, see, this angle and this angle are becoming alternate angles. So, this is 28, this is x. 28 plus x is equal to 65, and that is how you can achieve. Next. Next. Vivek, are you there? Yes, sir. These both are parallel lines. This is 4x. This is 3x plus 5. Tell how to do x. Sir, 4x plus 3x plus 5 is equal to 180 degrees, co integer angles. Co integer angles are supplementary. Supplementary. 7x is equal to? X is equal to 175. X is equal to? 175 by 7. 7 to are 47 by 7. 25 degrees. So X is 4 into 25 is 100. If this is 100, automatically this will be 80. This was going to be one of the subsequently. Next. Next. What shall you do? Yes, sir. So this is like this. This is like this, sir. So this is 135 they have given. And this is 110 they have given. Uh, question is uh, 110, 135 are given. Okay, find ACV. Find the ACV. What is this angle? Very easy now. Um, if this is 135, this will be how much? 135 minus 180. 180 minus 135. How much? 45. Different. If this is 110, this will be how much? 70. 70. Now apply? Angle sum property. Angle sum property. Over. Look at that. 150. 115. Plus x is equal to 180. x is equal to 115. How much? x is equal to 65 degrees. x is equal to 65 degrees. Tell one more question. See, question is like this. See. This is a question. See here, this is 30 degrees. This is 90 degrees. They have given. This is 40 degrees. This time, I think. Yes, sir, that we should find. That only we should find. Tell me how to do it. Emma, how to do that? Um, we should, that is 30, sir. I'll turn it into. This is 90, no? This is 40, no? 
first find out this angle in this point. In this point, first way, find out this point. This angle. Angle something. Less forty. Less forty. Fifty. How much am I? One thirteen hundred. One thirteen. Fifty. 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 Fifty.
shall uh, first define shell of this angle. Shell of this angle. Yes, sir. How much? Seventy plus sixty plus ninety plus a is equal to one eighty. 160 plus k is equal to 180. K is equal to 20. This is 20. Shall we? This is 20. Yes. Okay. Sir. Now. Uh, 20 plus x. Uh, uh, this is 70. This is 20. Means 90 is over. This total angle is 110. Total angle is 110. Okay. In this 110, you remove this 20. So from here to here, it will become 80. Okay, na. You are able to understand, na. Yes, sir. The ninety, sir. Why? Ah, one ten. Ah, one ten minus twenty is ninety, na. Yeah, ninety. This is ninety. Sir, how do you do one ten, sir? How many angle? This is seventy. Yes, this is twenty. Ninety, uh, na, na. Okay, okay. Opposite. One eighty minus ninety. Oh. The ninety, sir. This is also ninety, na. No? See, children, uh, just don't get tired. <laughs> this is seventy. This is twenty means ninety. One eighty minus ninety is this total is ninety. From ninety you remove twenty. How much? Only this one. Seventy. Seventy. Now what we have? We want only x children. We want only x children. Any angle by sector or anything they gave us children. हाँ ये इस डी बाइसेक्टर चिल्ड्रन चिल्ड्रन ये इस डी बाइसेक्टर बाइक्स इस आंसर सेवेंटी बाइ टू नो नो ये इस डी बाइसेक्टर ऑफ एंगल ए ये इस डी बाइसेक्टर ऑफ एंगल फुल ले फुल ले फुल ले चिल्ड्रन ये आंसर मेरे से ट्वेंट बाइ आई डोंट नीड इट चिल्ड्रन आई अंडरस्टैंड आई डिड नॉट रीड द क This is ninety degrees. Second, this is ninety degrees. Okay. Okay. This AN is there. No, children. This AN is and this angle is equal to this angle. Actually. Okay. A. So twenty five. See, this is seventy. This is twenty. Children, this is seventy. This is twenty. Means sir, this total is ninety. Children, this total is ninety. Okay, na? This seventy. This twenty. Means this total is ninety. Am I am I correct, children? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So. From here to here, it will be forty-five, and this is also forty-five. Am I correct, children? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because this is forty-five. This is forty-five. Am I correct, children? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If this is forty-five, this is twenty. This will be sixty. Forty-five. Exterior angle is equal to sum of interior opposite angles. Okay, sir. Over. I did not see a and by sector. Children, total is ninety degrees, sir. This is forty-five. This is forty-five. Forty-five plus twenty is sixty. Over. Okay, last question for the day, children. Uh, one second. Next year, I go to last question for the children. Let's go. Yeah, we'll tell this one. Taisha, you tell this one. Yes, sir. So this is their question like this. This angle I want. This angle I want. Given that there. In the given figure, what is x? See, this is beta, this is alpha, this is gamma. That's all. They did not give anything else. They did not give anything else. How will we do? Anna? This is B. I will extend like this. This I will extend like this. Okay, na? This I will extend. Okay, na na na? Yes. What will be the angle? This angle, this angle is how much? Alpha plus beta. Why? Exterior angle is equal to exterior angle is sum of interior. Sum of interior opposite. Now, what will be this angle? This plus this. Oh uh, yes, sir. Alpha plus beta plus gamma. Why? Because exterior angle is equal to sum of interior. Sum of interior opposite angle. That's all, children. Like that, you have to do, children. So many things out there. Okay. Anyway, children, that's it. Sir, but in those options, which one is there? Alpha plus beta plus gamma. Is the answer. Okay, now children. Anyone here? Anything? Okay, any, sir. Any time you have doubt, children? No, no sir. sir. Okay, children.